Hello there folks, Nathan here, hope you're all well and welcome back to Food and Drink Reviews here on my channel. Yes, we have yet another review to do. It seems every time I go out of this house, I, uh, I always seem to come back with something to review. But uh, yeah, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to do these. I was, uh, I was doing a much needed food shop and um, there's actually a couple of Polish shops in Erdington now. And uh, I had a look in one of them, and uh, they had some of these. So I was like, oh, that looks an interesting flavour. So uh, I thought I'd give them a go. So these are Lay's chips or crisps, depending on which country you're in. Or like I like to call them, crippies. Uh, they're basically more or less the same as Walker's, really, if anyone's ever had Walker's crisps. Uh, Lay's, you know, they're, they're more or less the same. They share pretty much the same logo. Uh, but you do tend to find these abroad a lot. These always remind me of when I go on holiday. You always get uh, Lay's chips abroad. And these are spring onion flavoured. Um, they're wavy as well, you can see. Um, or you could call them crinkle cut, whatever you want to call them. But yes, this is spring onion flavoured, so this being interesting. Uh, just flip around on the back. I suppose the ingredients are there somewhere. Don't know where the English one is. I'll have a little look. So let's see what I can gather from them. Uh, let's just make sure they're all right. Yeah, 8th of May 2022. This is a 130 gram bag. Lay's wavy. Chips from carefully selected potatoes. Spring onion flavour. Uh, I'm presuming that might be written in Polish at the bottom there. Yeah, uh, these are 10 grams of fat. Oh well, it's the weekend. Let's have a look on the back. Uh, that's PL, I'm presuming that's Poland. Uh, HU CZ, is that SK LT? Uh, LV, I'm trying to see, EE, -E, no, HR, no, no England on here, SI, no, uh, okay then, that's uh, quite strange, that is, I thought there'd be, um, I thought there'd be an English one, but it doesn't seem to be. I can't read out the ingredients or anything. Can't really make anything from them. Right, well, without further ado, I might as well just get them open then and have a look. I'll get a few out. I want me a bit of McCoy's. Oh, but they smell nice. They smell really nice. I feel like I'm abroad now. There we are. We'll pan down, as you can see. That's what they look like. Uh, very finely ridged. They're not quite as crinkly as McCoy's, but you can see they have got uh, a texture to them. All different shapes. And so that's a nice little one, isn't it? I might save that as my tester one. That could be my guinea pig. Or maybe that, that one. I want a nice big one, don't we, to try and get the flavour. So, yeah, there you go. That's what they look like. Um, pretty much the same colour as the camera's showing. Maybe a little bit darker to the naked eye. A little bit more golden. Golden in colour, but... Uh, yeah, not far off at all. That one almost. If we can get it the right way. Looks like a little... Like a heart. It looks a tiny bit like a heart, doesn't it? There's a few broken ones, but they're... Mostly, most of them are, are mainly intact... So let's give them a go then, shall we? So um, obviously these are going to be crunchy, so you might want to make a volume adjustment if you don't like the sounds of people crunching. Again, I'll look away. I'll try and minimise the sound as much as I can. Uh, but it's not guaranteeing that you won't hear it, unfortunately. So I'll try and, try and minimise it for you. Okay, so if you're ready, so am I. 
So let's let's try a first taste then of a Lay's Spring Onion Crisp. Mm -hmm. Very similar to a standard cheese and onion, I'd say. Not quite as strong though. Well, I don't think they are, are they? I don't think spring onions are meant to be as strong as, you know, proper Spanish onions. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Like I said, they just remind me of cheese and onion, but obviously not as strong. They've got a nice crunch to them. They've got a nice crunch to them. They're, uh... You know... They're not as crunchy as some like McCoy's, um, McCoy's or Frisps. Or, you know, there's lots of different kinds of chips and crisps out there. Some of them with a much tougher crunch, but these, no, it's got a nice light crunch to them. They're very good. See, I've almost eaten them all. Mmm, they're very good. Nice onion flavour. Nice, um, nice texture. Nice crunch to them. And above all, a nice addition to the list of reviews. So that's pretty much all I can say, to be perfectly honest with you. So I think I'm not going to make this any longer than it needs to be. I'm going to wrap it up by saying thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comments section. Let me know if there's any other unique flavours of Lay's chips out there. Maybe I can try and get my hands on them and review them for you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, thank you again for your support. Much appreciated. Don't forget to share the channel. Try and get me some more subscribers. And until the next video, whenever that may be, it just remains for me to say, take care, stay safe, stay strong. And as Grandad Murray used to say, stay happy. And from here in the UK, it is currently just past two o'clock in the afternoon. So I will wish you a very, in the words of Pompidou, Good afternoon.